So today I'm going to show you how to apply a product called Hoof Armor. Hoof Armor is a Kevlar based solution that can be applied to the bottom of the hoof and it actually provides like a barrier between the sole and the ground. Why would you do that? Well, lots of reasons really. It can be used under shoes, under boots, under pads, cast, whatever. But the idea is it acts similar to the periopal of the hoof and it helps the hoof moisture content stabilize. It puts that Kevlar barrier that will protect from abrasion and wear. Um, this in turn can allow a thin sole to thicken up a little bit. It can help prevent stone bruising. It can just generally kind of toughen the hoof, add an extra layer on the thin hoof. So there's a lot of advantages to using this product. So, so today I'm going to show you on Lightning. Lightning happens to be a mare who is PSSM1 positive, and although she is completely sound barefoot, has been for several years, um, she does tend to be a little tender on the gravel. It's just one of the symptoms. Uh, they can be a little prone to laminitis, so we have to monitor that. But this product will allow her to have an extra barrier between her sole and the ground when she's crossing that gravel pathway to and from the barn. So here we go. All right, we've got our hoof armor. This is the dispenser and the cartridge. The cartridge has two sections to it, uh, and it does not mix the solutions together until it gets into the dispensing tip. Once it mixes, it will bond to just about anything. So you may notice I'm wearing my really scrubby jeans today. Uh, that way, if I get any of this on me, not a big deal. So I'm going to put that tip right on there. Now, as far as the hoof goes, I have prepared it with a wire brush, obviously done a basic clean out, then wire brushed it. You want it clean, but you do not want it wet. That's the one thing the hoof armor will not bind to is any moisture. So we want a nice dry hoof. If you feel the hoof needs to be scrubbed with water, not a big deal, but the, hoof sh the uh, horse should be stood in a nice dry stall on shavings to suck that moisture out for a while. But in this case, you can see the hoof is nice and dry and clean. So we're gonna put that hoof armor right on there. Now it comes out quite liquidy. See, it's almost like a clear fingernail polish. It can go in the collateral grooves, it can go on the sole. It actually heats up a bit once it starts to come out. You can put it on the heel bulbs, just a nice thin layer, smear it around there. You can put it all around the white lines if you're having some trouble um, with detached white lines. It'll fill that in a bit, help prevent fungal infections. You can wrap it around um, about a half inch or so of the outer hoof wall there that can help with chipping and cracking. So there's just a ton of benefits to this product. The shine lets you know where it is and isn't. Now, once that's done, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of just plain talcum or baby powder onto the hoof because I need to put it back on the uh, concrete while I do our other feet. So this will help keep it nice and slippery. Put a foot down. And that one is done. So let's move on to the next. Okay, we're on the next hoof now. Now in between hooves, while you're prepping the second hoof, the solution tends to bond in the dispenser tip. So we're actually going to switch tips between every hoof.
do? All right, we'll do the other two and let this girl stand for a bit to let that cure and then she'll go back out to track. <laughs> 